Well, let's go see what's at the lighthouse. I can still see her. The charred body hunched so unnaturally. <sighs> Terrible. I'll never be able to forget this image my whole life long. It is pretty bad. The fire didn't spread much. The grass was already wet before it rained. Those bastards covered her in gasoline and put a match to her. I hope she was already... I hope she didn't have to suffer too long. When I get my hands on these guys, I'll avenge Angelina. And I'll avenge myself. They've taken away the only person that still meant something to me. Wind and rain will wash away the ashes. The grass will grow. In a month, it'll look as if nothing ever happened. No one will forget Angelina. I'll make sure of that. Okay. Well. What's in that crevice? What's that amongst the stones? Oh, another one. A chess piece. Of the king. I wonder who put the chess piece there. It, it can't have been sitting there between the stones long. It's not been weathered at all, and it looks brand new. Probably Angelina. There's a knife sticking out of the wooden beam. It looks like someone's been carving into the beam. With little talent, but a lot of patience. Well, what is the... Okay, guess we don't get to know what it... Oh, a note. A small smudge note. It says, The king went north, the pawn went south, the queen... Uh, I can hardly read the rest. And the knight to the... something ST. They look like they've been hanging there for decades. They sound eerie. Hmm. Well, I have a knife now, at least. A weird stone head. It looks rather like a troll. That doesn't seem to have any practical purpose. I think it's only there to intimidate visitors. Fun. Well, I guess it's gonna be time to make him a whistle. Maybe. I'll cut a little piece out of a branch. Okay. I saw that on TV once. If you hit the bark with a hard object, like with a knife, then the bark loosens itself from the wood. Then, with just a bit of pressure, you can push the piece of wood out of the bark. Just cut a slit in the bark here, push the piece of wood back in a little, and there you go. A whistle. Man, I'm glad you have that um, knowledge, because I do not. Hello, Ralph? <laughs> Hi, Darren! Hey, Ralph! Have a look at what I got here. much better than a piano. And smaller, too. Now, can I just borrow the horse for a short while if if I give you the whistle for it? Okay. Okay, cool. Also, I'm changing my mind. I think Angelina might be super actually dead. Which sucks. But is pretty in line with how the tone of this series goes. 
so that's fun. Alright, so... The words on the note are partly smudged, but there is... The king went north, north. the pawn went south, the queen... Oh, so... Pawn went south. I heard a quiet click. The queen went... <sighs> oh no. Nothing's happening. That's wrong. King, king north. A quiet click. Night went something ST. I heard a quiet click. Okay, I got lucky. That's what that's what happened there. I heard a quiet click. Hey, at least this game's not making me actually play chess. Looking at you, seventh guest. Phew. I hope he doesn't go steal one of those things. That would suck. That would suck a lot. The damn bird again. He's got his own private way into this room. Okay, I thought the door was gonna slam closed because the bird took that. An old-fashioned oil lamp. This place must have been even spookier in flickering light from a flame. I'd say the raven pecked it apart. Maybe he was looking for something edible, or more sparkling things. Hmm, some clothes. They really could have belonged to Angelina. And here, a little book. Is that... It's gotta be Angelina's diary. And here, there's a folded note in the book. But one thing at a time. What's she written on the last pages? Tuesday, I found him. He's, He's called Darren Michaels. Or rather, that's the name they have given him, if I'm right about my suspicions. He's very nice. I don't think he has the faintest idea about the whole thing. I wanted to speak to Mrs. Michaels, but nobody came to the door when I rang the bell. There seems to be a man following me, even before my departure. I had the feeling of being watched. What does the man want from me? Evening. Mrs. Michaels has had a terrible accident. She's lying in hospital with severe head injuries. I wonder if she had already fallen when I rang the bell. Oh. God, I'm imagining all sorts of horrible things. Wednesday. I've been arrested for the murder of a man whom I barely know. I was led into a trap. A voice told me over the phone that they had information about Darren. When I arrived at the store, I discovered the body and was promptly arrested. I think my pursuer is behind this. Or am I being paranoid? Who can have an interest in finally ending all of this? Afternoon. Darren is so sweet the way he's really gone to town to help me. He's so ready to help. He's a bit of an oddball, but I like him a lot. It doesn't matter if he is who I think he is. I found a good friend. Or maybe more. Later. Reginald Boris. That's my pursuer's name. There's no doubt anymore. He's here to hinder my search, to stop what I'm doing. Who is evening. It's him. I know it now. He brought a little casket with him on our first date. Inside there was a photo of his mother and the servant Bates. They were standing in front of the gate at Black Mirror Castle. I recognized it immediately. He simply has to be a Gordon. His mother had an affair and after the fire she went to the USA. But I don't have the guts to tell him. His mom's lying in the hospital, and he has enough to worry about. On the other hand, I've got to find out who my new adversaries are. What might happen if I were to take Darren back to Willow Creek, and in doing so, bring him into danger? I couldn't forgive myself for that. I'll go back on my own and start my own investigations into who our enemies are. 
I'll tell Darren everything at some point. Hmm, about that. Like I thought, Angelina knew more than she let on the whole time, and she put herself in danger to protect me. It all fits together. The payments from Willow Creek, the being no pictures of my father, and me not being able to remember him. There was no car crash. There was a fire in the castle, and my mother was injured then. She was sent to the USA and received a pension, or maybe hush money. The only thing I don't understand, what is it all about? What did Angelina want to achieve, and, and what does the Order want to prevent? Most importantly, what have I got to do with it? I'm not sure, man. So she hid in here? In these rooms, with an oil lamp and her notes? She was very brave. Or crazy. So she hid and she was very brave. I'd rather leave it where it is. There's nothing else in it. It's all scattered around. Hmm. A stone plinth. There are three grooves on each side. No idea what you can do with it. Let's look at the gate and try to figure it out, I guess. <clears throat> Darren, you knew that wasn't gonna work, dude. The gate won't move, and I can't see a latch or a keyhole. Hmm. So the raven got in here. There's a big hole in the roof. It wasn't really able to withstand the weather. Okay. A stone plinth. Yeah, I don't really have anything that can do anything. So I might as well try to leave. I have a feeling it's gonna go bad. Okay, no, actually, surprisingly worked okay. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I just want to take a minute to ask that if you haven't already, please take a second to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you're looking to show even more support, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below this video. You can see everything you get right here on the screen, and I'm always looking for more perk ideas from you guys, so let me know what you'd be into. I think that's about it. Bye guys!